welcome to my channel today's topic is light as a particle and the photon corpuscular or particle theory of light was put forward arguably by descartes in 1637 this corpuscular theory of light was largely developed by newton in 1672 and was predominant for more than 100 years it took precedence over hegel's wave theory of light Newton's theory failed to explain the diffraction, interference and polarization of light therefore it was abandoned it reemerged in the 20th century as einstein described newton's conception of physical reality albert einstein based his ideas on the work of a german physicist max planck part of the work max planck looked at in 1901 was about black body radiations he suggested that electromagnetic energy comes only in lumps called quanta which is plural of quantum that is energy is emitted in discrete form he said that e is equal to h nu where h is planck's constant and its value is 6.63 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joules into seconds it indicates that energy of electromagnetic radiation is proportional to its frequency in 1905 albert einstein formulated an alternative explanation of planck's theory of radiation from black bodies he proposed that light might be composed of tiny particles and that electromagnetic radiation could be modeled as these discrete quanta Einstein's explanation of the photoelectric effect convinced physicists that light could behave as a stream of particles we call them photons and believe that all electromagnetic radiation consists of photons moreover einstein said that individual photons can liberate electrons and stimulate a current demonstrating the particle nature of light einstein suggested that each quantum of light energy can provide the energy to knock out one electron from the metal if the quantum is too small the electron cannot escape from the metal surface so when light photons are incident on metal surfaces electrons are rejected from the surface and these graphs indicate that there is a threshold frequency at which ionization takes place so back to this equation e is equal to h nu on left hand side is energy of a photon in joules and on right hand side is frequency of electromagnetic radiation so left hand side is energy of a particle and right hand side is frequency of a wave so this is absolutely amazing so evidence that energy is quantized comes from spectral lines and emission and absorption spectra as we observe discrete lines now here we see a subdivision of the electromagnetic spectrum into different regions and we notice that as we move from mid infrared to mid ultraviolet region wavelength of the photons goes on decreasing and frequency goes on increasing hence the corresponding value of energy goes on increasing as well and this energy of the photon is equal to h f as f is a property of wave so according to famous wave equation where c is equal to f lambda we substitute value of f which is c over lambda hence this equation becomes energy of a photon is equal to h c over lambda where c is the speed of light in vacuum and its value is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second it must be noted that energy of the photons is far less than a joule therefore we use another unit of energy the electron volt and one electron volt is equal to 1.0602 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 joule and it is defined as the energy transferred when an electron travels through a potential difference of 1 volt this we have studied in our previous video and 1.6 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 coulomb is the charge on electron Now here um, we have selected only the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum, and it is quite obvious that we get discrete lines of each wavelength. And each wavelength's energy is also given here. And in this table, we get 
each individual color's wavelength, frequency, and photon energy. And it is quite apparent that as we move from higher wavelength region to lower wavelength region, the frequency of the electromagnetic radiation goes on increasing and hence the corresponding value of energy also increases. Therefore, ultraviolet light is very dangerous, X-rays and gamma rays even more dangerous as these are very high energy radiations due to their high frequencies as can be seen in this spectrum. The photon. To recap precisely, a photon is a discrete quantum of light or packet of electromagnetic energy that has some specific set of properties. Its charge is zero, its spin is one, and it can have two possible orientations, clockwise or anticlockwise. Energy of a photon is given by the equation E is equal to h nu, where h is Planck's constant and its value is 6.63 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joules into seconds in SI units. Photons travel at the speed of light in vacuum. Photons have a momentum, are linearly or circularly polarized and have a wavelength associated with them. Photons are created by atomic transitions, thermal motion and by matter-antimatter annihilations. It must be noted that the total density of the universe is the sum of the energy densities of vacuum matter and photons. Scientists uh, are studying different theories in which a part of light photons interact with extragalactic magnetic fields resulting in transformation into hypothetical weakly interacting elementary particle or X ions which turn into photons due to the interaction with magnetic fields. These theories led scientists to recreate an extremely refined model of the cosmic web and of its magnetic fields. Cosmic web is a network of filaments composed of gas and dark matter present throughout the universe. In our next video, we will study wave particle duality. Thank you for watching.